You know what it means? It means it's summertime. That's what it's saying for us right there. And that means the kids are home, animals are home, and it's time to keep everyone busy. It's the summer, right? So, of course, one of the things we love to do is go to the dog park. Yep. I'm here to let you know what you should know before you go there. Animal behaviorist Cal Kittleson and pet rescue expert Larissa. Welcome, guys. And Here's the thing. And Callie. And yeah. I'm sorry. Hi, Callie. Don't forget about the star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the star. Yeah. The star the show here. Like one of the things that we do, of course, we like to take our dog Red everywhere, but also the dog park, of course. But there's things that we should know before we go there. Oh, look, right? Red. There he is. He's there's, so He takes boy. me to the dog park. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's big. Now, why are some people unsure about going to the dog park? Well, dog parks are very polarizing. People love them or people are scared of them. And, you know, I think it has to do with people thinking, oh, what if there's a dog fight or yeah. what if my dog picks up fleas? But honestly, if your dog is getting their vaccinations, they're up to date with their heartworm, their flea medication, there is nothing to worry about. And here's the best news. Dog parks are so beneficial. They allow for socialization, which mm. is one of the most important things you can, a gift you can give a dog. They Aww. get exercise there. You as a human get to interact with other animal lovers. So all in all, it is such a beneficial experience that I hope everybody sure. watches this and takes their dog to a dog park. Yeah, I love a dog park <laughs> too. Great. Kyle, you say once you've chosen the dog park, yes. it's right for you. There are a few other things that people should do. Yes, we can't control the people in the dog park and we can't control yeah. their dogs, but we can't control what we do. So one of the things, uh, Larissa and I went to a dog park, and one of the things that I showed her what I like to do is allow the dog to look at the perimeter of the dog park. Okay. Like check out all of those smells, get a sense for what's going on, and exercise your dog before you actually go into the dog park. Interesting. That way they're a little more tired out, so they're not so, oh my gosh, like what's going on? Getting There's stuff mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And then I like to go into the dog park with the dog on a leash, if they'll allow it, and then give them some treats to let them know, hey, dad's got something you want here, and then take off the leash and let them have a great time. And then when you need to call them back, you have those treats ready to go, so it makes it safe for everybody. Aww. Yes. But yes. well, she have a great time at the dog park, but some dogs probably shouldn't be going to a dog park, right? Yeah, if, you're, if your dog is pregnant, just right. let that lady rest. Yeah. She just needs a break. She's Don't tired. take her to the dog park. Oh, if, if, if you've got a puppy who's not vaccinated, not the time yet. And if your dog is aggressive. But if you do have a puppy, okay, that uh, doesn't mean you can't socialize your dog. It just means maybe not at a dog park. So in your local community, I guarantee you there are pet stores. There are training facilities who do puppy parties or puppy oh, play okay. dates. Take yeah. your dog there to That's interact nice. with other puppies. So when they all are old enough to go to the dog park, they are ready to have a great time and are, have already been around other and dogs. I do want to say something with, with the aggressive uh, note. It's not that that can't happen down the road, but if you do have a dog that's aggressive or likes to guard toys sure. or is leash aggressive, right work on that behavior first. They should absolutely still be allowed to go to a dog park right. in time when that behavior is under control. And I think yeah. on some level, a lot of people make the mistake and they train the dogs with those behaviors at the dog park. Right. Like uh, socialize yeah. them there or right. train the aggressive. I want to give you a hug so much. Right isn't that, right. isn't that so the go, thing? Yeah, they go, oh, my dog's so aggressive at the dog park, so we better go to the dog park to <laughs> work on it. And get them used yeah. to it. No, no, we got to work on that where yeah. they can be successful yeah. and work good. our way up there. Yes. And it's also, it stresses the dog out and the rest of the dog. too much. And me. <laughs> you're you're not kidding. Yeah. So you say one of the best tools that we can have at the dog park is the recall command. Well, what do you mean? That's not what I said. That's not I, what you said. I oh, said the awkward. best tool you can ever have. Not the best. Not the one best. of the best. Okay, the best that. tool, period, yeah. is a, a recall command or a come command. So yeah. uh, there's a lot of ways to train this. My, my first big tip is when people call their dog, they use the dog's name, they slap their knees, they clap, they whistle, they say, come here, they say, come over here, let's go outside. It's too many things. Okay. Just pick one word and then use that word to actually call the dog. So we were at the dog park as well. Okay. And Good. you see, I say, just come now. Oh my God, stop it. Hey, Callie, come. Stop it. You were called. There is a speaker <laughs> over there, and she just oh. took off running. Which oh, shows how girl. well it's trained. Good she job, good girl. Girl. I, I, right, I was I'll, with Kyle at the dog park yeah. in Cali, and he said those two words, Cali. Yeah. Um, Bolt, no matter what, wow. and that is so important and life saving. And you got to teach us. You got to teach life saving. You so here's, teach my, here's my favorite way to uh, uh, train this. So Debbie, here's here's a nice slobbery treat for oh, you. Oh, thank you. Callie Definitely. knows that she has that you have it. Now I'm going to call oh, her away God. from you, and I'm going okay. to say the word come. 
and then as soon as she comes towards me, I'm going to say good to let her know she's doing the right thing. And this will be hard because she is really into she you. She wants right now. my treat. All right, yeah. <laughs> Kelly, come. Good girl. Okay. All right, now obviously I have some history with her. Good job. Let's see if she'll go to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was well I mean, anybody who looks as good oh, as you look. Okay, here we go. All right, so try it again. Good, good. Callie, come. Good girl. That was excellent. Oh, that's so cute. Now, this is an that's easy recall game to play with your family. And you can, when your dog gets really good at it, you can put, you know, a kid in a bedroom, you know, the dad in the basement, and just have the dog running all over the house to whoever has a Now, uh, how long would it take to actually teach that technique? If you're working with your dog five to ten minutes a day for three days, at the end of the third day, you should have a dog that will stop whatever it's doing and run to you when you say, come. So no matter where you are, That's you right. can make that happen in three days if you work five minutes a day. That's right. Does this also work with toddlers? It works with toddlers. <laughs> or husbands. Husbands. <laughs> Good. Yes. Okay. Uh, anybody. Let's okay. not get crazy. Okay. Five <laughs> minutes a day. All animals. That's it. I'm going to do it in three days. And I'll let you know how it goes. All animals. Okay. <laughs> not helping us out. Thank you so much, guys. That was fantastic. You, For more information, oh, check out so Kyle and website. Larissa's <laughs> websites below. Lots of good info there. So cute. Thanks, we guys. love you, Callie. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Callie. Callie, come. <laughs> oh, see it works. There you go. Because <laughs> next up, we're heading into the kitchen with lifestyle expert Whitney Ford. Hi, Whitney. Come on back because I'm making my super healthy banana bread muffins with dark chocolate chips. They're very healthy and really easy to make.